Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Today I will present to you my binary option last system. In this lesson you will learn how works the system and on what time frame, the price action trend definition and tips for binary option, impulsive and corrective move explanation, list of the indicators, setup of them and use, use of the alerts and rules of the strategy summarized. How works the system? The system will make you take strong level of support and resistance on corrective move or pullback following the current strength of the market. We enter at the level of support and resistance for an expiration end of the next candle. Or you can also, if you are more conservative, wait the candle to close very near the level and showing a nice wick. Let's see a drawing to explain further. Let's imagine my yellow line is my level, for example, right here, and the price is below. I will use the color blue, for example. So the candlestick, blue mean is bullish, so going up, go up. So you can enter, my entry will be in red, exactly at the level, like that. And the expiration will be the end of the next candle. So let's say the next, the next candle finish like that. So this is your expiration, the end of the next candle, right here. Or, the second way, still my level is here, you wait for a candle to go near the level and to close very near it, with showing you a very nice wick up like that. It means the level has been broken and rejected and the price closed very near. So if it closed very near, it means you have a high probability for the price to go down, to be rejected again by, by the level. And the expiration will still be the end of the next candle after, which makes our expiration right here. So this is the aggressive, but, but both works well. So you can take at the level right here or wait the end of the candle, closing very near the level to take the expression at the end of the next candle. That's the entry point for both systems. This system works on all time frame from the 5 minute and above. Let's see this in detail now. Trend definition with price action. A quick review. An uptrend using price action is defined by a higher high and higher lows like this. You can see the higher is higher and higher and the low point, reversal point are lower also. So this defines an uptrend and a downtrend make lower lows and lower highs this is the definition of a downtrend lower lows lower highs that's a downtrend now when the price make for example it's in a downtrend creating new low lower low higher low and suddenly the price create a price right here a bounce and bounce higher, like that. So in this example we have a downtrend, new low, higher, lower than the previous one, so still downtrend, and now we have this point that is higher than the previous one. Previous one is here, and this one is higher. So until this one is broken, it's still a downtrend, but when this one is broken, like that, that's when the trend change and we have now the beginning. It can be a range or it can be an uptrend. 
So if the price continue to make higher lows and higher highs, that's when we get a new uptrend. So the price from going down now changes to going up and the power is going up. That is the change in a, from a downtrend to an uptrend. Now let's see this on the chart. So if you look at a 5 minute chart, I will analyze this. So I have I'll stay in yellow. So I have a down move like that, followed by a reversal, and this point reverse well down and break the previous one. So it's a new low. And this one stay at the previous high and go down. So we are still in a down trend on this point. Then the price come up, come up, make a new high that is lower than the previous one and break down. So we are still definitely breaking the low. So we are still in a downtrend right here. So in this case, at this specific moment, what we expect to do, we expect to sell at this turning point right here. And if we see price action, we go to the downside direction. That's how we would trade it in Forex. But in binary option, we use the same specific tools. Except in binary option, we want more precision to our entry. So let's look another example in the past and see the, the trend. So let's look at this specific example. So price making new high, breaking this one, making higher lows, higher high, so still uptrend. And what happened? So first it breaks this level and finally breaks this level. So when after that this level is broken, now we expect the market to go down. So we would expect at this level, which is a strong level, to go for a short. And we have nice rejection for binary option, but for Forex we have a, a little, little move correct size. So what happened? It makes a complex pullback and after touch this level and break way down like this after that. So it was the beginning of a new downtrend that continue in the in the future. That's how you recognize an uptrend, a downtrend on the ch on the chart. And I took the five minute because it's a little bit more choppy, so it can be the worst example that you can find in the market. More you go higher time frame, one hour, four hour, one day, easier it will be. Now let's see the impulsive and corrective move explanation. So another concept that you have to, to learn and that can improve a lot your trading is the concept of impulsive and corrective move in the market. So my line will be the price in blue. Most of the time you have impulsive move, which is a strong move in one direction. And as you can see, the angle is quite steep here. And you have a corrective move and the corrective move will be slow and steady until it finds the level of support and resistance and finally bounce up. Most of the time, when you have a strong move, it can be up or it can be down, followed by a move more weaker. Most likely the price will continue in the same direction of the impulsive move, this one. So if this price go down quite weakly, after it will come back and resume in the direction of this specific move. So this level is the impulsive and this one is a corrective move. So we want to trade according and following the impulsive move of the, of the market. So if you see a strong move in one direction, you don't want to place a reversal trade right here because most likely this strong movement will continue to go down. So what you want to do is you have this impulsive move, move for example going down and you have this move corrective also called the pullback going up and going up with weakness. That's where you want to take your reversal trades. So it can be on Forex or it can be on binary option in the lesson of today is for binary option, but we want to take those kind of moves, the ones that are weak. 
So this is the definition of impulsive and corrective. Now let's see examples on chart. So on this same example, AudioSD chart for 5 minutes. Let's say let me play some line on the chart. We have a nice support right here. And we have a resistance right here. So if I start on the left on this chart, you have a strong impulsive move breaking the high right here and you have a steady slow steady corrective move so that's where you want to take a trade for a call or buy in forex then what you have is a strong move going down this is our impulsive move what you want to take is one of those level but this time in the downside direction so you have this opportunity right here winning on binary option and little win on forex and you have also the second level or reverse just a little before which was a good win and a strong win on forex and binary option also so that's this kind of move you want to to take with the strategy a little further and you have to understand this concept with your bare eyes on a naked chart so you can master your skills so that's the concept you have to understand to win a lot of trades in binary option and forex. Now let's look at the detail of the indicators and their purpose. So first on the chart you will get the 200 EMA. Then you have the AFCAL news alert. Then the big clock. Then the currency symbol. The PZ swing trading. And the volume at price or level sensor. And finally and as an additional confirmation, you have the TMA slope and Bollinger Band for additional confirmation. But this is optional, but I will explain to you all of them one by one. Let's start. So let's start with the 200 moving average. The 200 moving average, my yellow line on my chart, is the most used by the institution and it works very well on the 5 minute and uh, nearly every chart. So. It has two purposes. It will confirm to use the trend. So if the the slope of the 200 EMA is going down, then it is a downtrend. And if if it's going up, it's a down. It's an uptrend. The second purpose, and it's a strong support and resistance. So let's look in the past. So as you can see, touch reverse, touch reverse, nearly reverse before and after break it. Reverse, reverse, reverse. You can even trade the 200 EMA on its own from the 5 minute chart as a reversal. Reverse, reverse, break. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Reverse, break. So that's the first indicator on, on our chart. The second indicator is the AFCAL on the left corner of my chart, right here. This will show you how many time remain until the next news. So if you go in the setup, you define your specific colors and etc. But it's a good tool and it will alert you in real time based on Forex Factory economic calendar. So it will give you a security and you will always have in front of your eyes when will be the next impacting news. And you don't trade 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after an impacting news. The next indicator is the symbol changer. So this symbol changer on the left up corner of my chart permits you to change currency very easily and very fast from one to another. It will bring you a speed in your in your trading. So same if we go in the setup here in this specific line you will enter all the currency you want to trade so you customize it based on the currencies that are available on your broker and you just trade those specific currency that's it so it's a simple tool to make your trading easier after we have the big clock so the big clock is a simple indicator that tells you when will be the end of the actual candle it's a nice indicator so I let it there. Then we have the PZ trading, swing trading. So this is a very nice tool created with price action. Remember when we say it's a downtrend based on price action. So this kind of tells you that this is a downtrend. 
so when the cloud is here you only want to take put trades and when the cloud is below you want to take call trades that is one of the rules of our system just after that's how you will use the pz swing trading it's an indicator that replace your skills if you're not sure if you're in an uptrend or downtrend this indicator tells you with quite accuracy when you are quite safe to take a call option if it's below and when you should take a put option when it's above like this like this this is one of the strong rules of the system you don't take any trade above if the cloud of the PZ swing trading is below here you take only call trades and here you take only put trades because it tells you in real time what is the actual strength of the market which is quite nice and also about the PZ swing trading let's say for example I have a level which is right here at my blue line and my blue cloud of PZ swing trading end here then I will not take the level right here because if the price get there it means the strength of the market is no longer going down but is going up and I will be against the trade and if I am against the trade most likely the candle will break the level and will not stop it so the ideal setup is to have a level that will remain inside the cloud like this is a perfect trade to take if I go further you need to have the, the line below below the cloud it's not so much a big deal if it's below the cloud but if it's above the cloud and we are in a put this might seem that the price will break so you don't take it so your limit will always be the upper band or it can be a little bit upper the cloud of the PZ swing trading but not more than that now let's see the next indicator. The next indicator is the volume at price. So if you have followed my complete course for binary option, you know this is a very powerful indicator to find the very strong support and resistance level on your chart. So if I trade the five minute chart, I will first go on the one hour chart and I will plot, plot my line and you don't need to plot 40 lines, but I plot my line only on the valley so I have one valley here, it's above the price actual right now. I have a strong valley right here, so it's my next level. And after my next level will be in the middle right here. If I zoom in I see a more precise right here. Exactly where there is no more people to buy. It means when there is a valley, it means there is no more people to buy. And if you look at the chart in the past, so this indicator analyzes where the price spent its time and when there is a valley it means the price rejected this level and didn't stay there which make it for us a very strong level of support and resistance so the best level on this indicator are the strong valley surrounded by strong price action like this so you have a strong volume right here of price action and you have a strong volume of price action right here and those specific strong valley right here are very strong level of support and resistance and if you just look in the in the past you see that the price bounce a lot of time at those specific level so looking at the one hour will give you the strongest level first and after you switch to the 15 minutes or the five minute if you trade the five minutes and you will look at your level on the five minute to fine tune it so as you can see on the five minute i will place a different color right here this is my fine tune level and I will put it in white and you will base your entry based on the five minute chart always so for example I have another valley right here quite strong right here perfect level and below I don't have history so I will just rely on this one and I will wait it for, for it to break so that's the way you use the volume at price you need to plot manually your level because there is no indicator that will plot your level better than you will do and this indicator is the best help you can find to plot perfectly your level of support and resistance so now for example let's take this one we have a strong valley right here and we have 
those spikes touching it, this one reversing just before, and those last one reversing just before. So what you will wait based on the strategy is the price to break above, and when it will come back to it, that's when you will take your trade right here. The impulsive move, if it breaks this level logically, it should be an impulsive move, and you will have a corrective move weaker right here and you will take this trade right here and this is a high probability trade above I believe 70 and if you if you master the system you can get a, around 90% winning trade but also the time frame I believe 15 minute chart will be uh, you will get higher probability success with it 5 minutes you can get around 70-75 but if you get the 15 minute and if you master it correctly you should get around 80-90% to 90 uh, winning trade on it mastering this specific uh, system. And so finally, the last indicator, it's a combination of two. They are the Bollinger Band, and let's look at the settings. So the settings are 20 and 2, and my visualization will be only on the 1 minute or 5 minute maximum, not more than that, and I will explain to you why. And the TMA slope. So I let the default setting, and that's it. So the TMA slope, let's look at it alone. Those two lines are lines that tells you wh when the price is overbought of, or oversold. It's like a rubber band. If the price goes above, most likely it will bounce back and go towards the middle. As you can see, if you check the story, the price has a tendency to stick to the middle of this specific slope. So if the price is outside, it means it's overbought of or oversold, and likely it will reverse back to the center. That's what it does all the time, all the time, all the time. These indicators repaint, it means it readjusts to the price all the time. That's why we combine it with the Bollinger Band. So the Bollinger Band, now we go to the 5 minute chart. So this is the dotted yellow line, this is the Bollinger Band. Those line never repaint. So when you have the price outside the Bollinger Band and outside the TMA slope, this is a powerful level to take a trade and to, because most likely it will reverse. So as you can see, this is perfect example right here, reverse. After you have this one outside the TMA and this right here outside the Bollinger Band same time and here, so the first doesn't reject right away but after that it rejects and it rejects big going down. Uh, how do you use this specific indicator in our system? So this is a combination of those two. If for example we trade the 5 minute, so the 5 minute we will have a chart like that, not so much cluttered with other indicator. Um, we have a level to take, for example this level has been broken down, we have a strong valley here so we want to take a trade right here at the corrective move which is weaker right here. So when we will be here on the 5 minute chart we will switch on the 1 minute time frame using this and we will as a last confirmation so and we will as a last confirmation want to have the price outside the Bollinger Band and the TMA slope one time frame lower than the one we are trading and we take our entry right here and also at or just above the level on the 5 minute time frame. This gives you another security for our trade that the price is likely to reject and go in our direction going down in this specific trade. So this will be the last confirmation. Uh, personally I don't use it but if you want to have another uh, safer confirmation trade you can use this specific one. So I repeat you go on the 5 minute chart you take you aim to take this specific level right here and when it touch or it's very near to it you switch to the one minute time frame and you aim to take it outside the Bollinger Band and the TMA slope. That will be your last confirmation. That's all the indicators of this specific system. So practically use an alert system. This is what our template, our chart look like with all the elements together. So we go together to the strategy now like in real time, how it's been done. I go to the one hour chart, I plot the strong valley, so there is one exactly where the price is right now, and me I use yellow, you can use whatever color you want, but from the one hour it's yellow, 
and I will put let's say 2 at the strong value only, only and after I go to the 5 minute and on the 5 minute I have this strong value right here and since the valley is quite larger I will put it at the average of the week or the, the end of the body right here to fine tune the entry the end of the body if it's correlated with the end of several weeks it's better and you have the end of several weeks right here as a support in the past now resistance so this will be my entry so what do I do after that I have my alert system so for those who work with me for a long time you know this I put my alert and I have a sound the sound is odd USD BO you can have odd USD 5 it's the same or sell odd USD 5 so when the price go above it will it will tell me odd USD BO so when the price break up like this this alert will trigger and after that what I do is I put my other alert to my level that I want to take this one a little bit above like that and I wait or if I don't have time to wait I just go to another chart and I do the same uh, analysis what I do is I do most of my chart using this specific technique and when the when the level are broken or if the level is according to the trend I take it I plot my one hour support and resistance oh what a very beautiful level right here when price will come back to hit most likely you can expect a reversal even if it's against the strain so this is a one hour we do the same yellow, yellow line and I plot this one at the strong valley right here after I switch to five minutes I zoom a little and I put my other line strong valley right here this is a five minute so white one and if I have another one I have another one right here very strong valley right here correlated with this specific top strong stop of the big candle and a lot of weeks right here so when the price breaks this level right here like that I will wait to take a call at this specific level so I place my alert in the middle because I wait a significant break of this level I don't want something very weak I want the market to show me an impulsive move going up so the corrective move will give me more probability of success and the rainbow most of most of the time when my price go up the rainbow of the PZ trading will be above like that and so I take my trade and you have very strong probability of success with this specific system so I use my manual alert for this you after that you can go on the one minute chart and on the one minute chart you will have the TMA slope so you take outside the band for the last additional confirmation if you use it it's an option and that's the way the system work so far it combines the most effective way to spot support and resistance so it will give you the best level available in the market of support and resistance and the second using the PZ swing trading remove any doubt about where is the strength in the market actually and will it will make you take the trade according to the strength and the impressive move which is very important you can call it trend it's exactly the same we talk about the same thing and this gives you additional probability of success so if you have a strong level of support and resistance combined with going with the trend all the time that's what this system does you will get consistent on the long run accuracy uh, of your winning rate it might be around maybe 65 to 70 depending on your time frame but if you master after the strong level the strong level by themselves taking them randomly have around 70 to 85 percent of success using the volume at price the way I show you so if you combine those strong element you should have a very pretty good win rate for binary option to summarize using the template you plot your one hour time frame lines on the valley using the volume at price or level sensor 
you lower them to your trading time frame. It can be the 5 minutes, 15 minutes, and you can use whatever time frame you feel like. And you plot your secondary lines using the valley of this indicator. Then you place your alert at the break of the lines and the second alert at the line. You take the level first and second touch after the break. The second attempt, you take it only if the first attempt was quality rejected with a pin bar or with a strong big candle rejecting the level. If not, you take only the first attempt. We are already at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and join us on Facebook. The link are below the video. Comment if you want me to do a video on a specific topic about trading. And if you need a quality broker, I recommend IC Market. And my link is below if you need. I have tested a lot of brokers in the past for Forex. And IC Market is a true ECN broker regulated in Australia and the one that I personally use and the best we have found so far with very very good condition to trade. I publish video every week so subscribe to my channel to be updated. I wish you all the best. Bye!